So, WWE released Wade Barrett, Santina Morella, Cameron, Zeb Coulter, El Torito, Hornswoggle, Alex Riley, Damien Sandow. Some of them I don't get. Wade Barrett, we knew it was coming because he said months ago he wasn't going to renew his contract. Cameron, which is a shock considering he's in Total Divas, then releasing her. Didn't think that that would happen. Don't think that she was the best wrestler there. I mean, she wasn't terrible. She never really, after the Funk Act, she didn't really do anything. Her getting released is a bit of a shock, but only because of Total Divas, because being on that show, I thought you would be pretty much untouchable. Saying that, maybe it's the comments that she made, um, saying that she agreed with Ryback, and what he's been saying in the last few days. If you're, you know, not that high on the totem pole, should you be agreeing with somebody that's slagging down the company? That's not the best career move, in my opinion, because it just looks bad. I mean, if it's not, nothing to do with you, don't get involved. So they've also come to terms with Santina Morella. Now, I'm not shocked at this at all. Um, we haven't seen him in ages in WWE, so there's no point keeping him there. Alex Riley, he should have gone ages ago. I mean, apart from doing the commentating a little bit and trying to go back into NXT and sort of start wrestling again, I feel a bit sorry for him because he never really got that push. He, he could have been maybe a, a good wrestler, but... He wasn't given that opportunity and, you know, he will probably go to TNA now. El Torito, well, with the rebranding of the Lost Matadors, it makes sense not to keep him around. Zeb Coulter, he, he wasn't really doing anything other than when he was working with Del Rio, when Del Rio first came back. The wrestler I'm most shocked about them releasing is Damien Sandow. I cannot believe that. That is an absolute shock. No, he hasn't been seen in recent months, but his stuff with the Miz when he was Damien Mizdow was amazing. He had more fans cheering for him than the Miz. It was some funny stuff. And he's a good wrestler. He is a really, really good wrestler, and I just can't believe that WWE released him. All they needed to do was to give him a whole new gimmick. The funny stuff, it's funny. You should have let him run with it. Let him do stuff on his own. And it worked. It, w- it would have worked. I just can't believe that they let go of Damien Sandow. That's been the biggest shot for me. Um, it would have been Wade Barrett if we didn't know he was leaving. But as he stated he was leaving, you sort of knew it was coming. So the fact that they've let go of Damien Sandow is shocking. Really, really shocking. One person I'm shocked hasn't been released is Adam Rose. With his current comments on being suspended by WWE, saying that he shouldn't have been suspended and doctors have given him this medicine to take and everything else and he feels that he was wrong to be suspended and it's just if WWE has suspended you they have suspended you if you are taking a medication prescribed to you from your doctor ask find out whether you're allowed to take it because if it's not on WWE's list of allowed medication then technically you broke the wellness policy so WWE have are well in their right to suspend you. Now, with all of his rants, I'm shocked, well and not truly shocked, he's not been released in their annual releasing that they do once a year. So, maybe it's because the social outcasts are quite popular. That's the only thing I can think of keeping him there. I think the next wrestler to be gone 
is Ryback with his comments and the apparent demands he's making for his new contract. I just can't see WWE giving in. I just don't think he's that big a name. I mean, he has the potential to be a good wrestler, but a lot of wrestling fans just see him as a joke. If you go to events, all you hear is Goldberg chants. And, I mean, they did, he did get away from it for a little while when he brought out his own attire and, you know, the Feed Me More stuff. And then he just sort of went back to the whole Goldberg lookalike thing and it just just gone downhill fast. They have to do something. Um, I, I just don't think he will be in WWE for much longer. These are my thoughts on the WWE releases and the wrestlers that I think should have been released but haven't. So... Thanks for watching.